Hey Budget Gardeners, Vita Loca here. Join me today as I show you how to collect the seeds from a flowering tobacco plant. So let's go. Flowering tobacco, also known as Nicotiana, is a very popular plant in the landscape. I think it's very pretty, and to be honest with you, I've never grown it in my own yard. I recently went to Portsmouth, which is a city located close to where I live, and they have a lot of flowers that were blooming there, and one of them was the Nicotiana flower. I'm going to pop up on the screen the day that I collected the seeds from that plant, just so you can see how beautiful the plant really is. And I especially loved the color of the plant that I collected the seeds from. Nicotiana is an annual where I live. In fact, it's an annual in most areas. In very few areas, it's considered a perennial. But what I really like about the plant is that it easily drops its seeds, which means it self sows readily from year to year. So what I'm going to do right now is take you in for a closer look just so you can see what the seed pod looks like as well as the seeds. When it comes to collecting the seeds from the Nicotiana plant, you want to make sure that the seed pods are a brown color. If they're green, that means that the seed pods are not ready to be picked yet. Here's an example of some seed pods that are a few weeks old. And what you're looking to do when you collect the seed pods is let them dry. And once they've dried, you can easily release all the seeds from within the seed pod. Most of the seeds have already been released from these seed pods, but I'm just checking to see if there are any more seeds in these. There's still a few left. And you can see that the seeds are very small. They're a brown color. And over here, I have a Ziploc bag, and I store my seeds in these little Ziploc bags. I like to label the bag with what the name of the plant is, so Nicotiana. The year that I collected the seeds, so 2023, and I also like to put where I collected the seeds from. Even though I like to store my seeds in a clear Ziploc bag, you can also store them in a paper bag or some sort of a container or jar. The big thing is you want to make sure that the seeds are completely dry before you store them. And you also want to store all your seeds in a cool, dark, and dry location. You can tell that these seeds are very small. That's why I have a dime here just so that you can see the size of the seeds compared to the dime. And when it comes to funneling the seeds off of this paper, since they're very small, I like to take the paper, fold it in half, and that way I can easily funnel the seeds off of the paper into the Ziploc bag. On the screen, what you're looking at now is a closer look at what the seeds look like as well as their seed pods. This winter, I plan on showing you how to start the Nicotiana seeds indoors under grow lights. What I also will probably do is scatter some of these seeds in the late winter, early spring, out in my landscape. I think it's good to experiment. Sometimes if you don't have grow lights, you can do that with certain seeds, and I think this is a good seed to try that with. Just try scattering them in your landscape and see if they come up that way. I wonder, have you ever grown Nicotiana in your garden? What color is it, and how does it do? I'd love to know, so please drop a comment below. I hope you've been out in your gardens, and I hope you've also been able to get out there and collect some flower seeds. Until the next video, make it a great day with gardening.